As President Joe Biden faces a growing drumbeat of pressure to drop his re-election bid, a majority of Democrats think his vice president would make a good president herself. A new poll from the AP Nork Center for Public Affairs Research found that about 6 in 10 Democrats believe Kamala Harris would do a good job in the top slot. About 2 in 10 Democrats don't believe she would, and another 2 in 10 say they don't know enough to say. Since Biden's debate debacle on June 27, many Democrats have privately and even openly looked to Harris to step in and succeed Biden as the party's presidential nominee, believing she has a better chance against GOP nominee Donald Trump. For her part, Harris has remained completely loyal to Biden, being one of his toughest defenders in the aftermath of the disastrous debate performance. Some might even believe that it is about time a woman becomes president, that too a woman of color. Black adults, a key contingent of the Democrats' coalition and a group that remains relatively more favorable to Biden than others, are more likely than Americans overall to say that Harris would do well. As for Americans more broadly, they are more skeptical of how Harris would perform in the Oval Office. Only about 3 in 10 U.S. adults overall say Harris would do well as president. About half say Harris would not do a good job in the role, and 2 in 10 say they don't know enough to say. Harris's favorability rating is similar to Biden's, but the share of Americans who have an unfavorable opinion of her is somewhat lower. The poll showed that about 4 in 10 U.S. adults have a favorable opinion of Harris, while about half have an unfavorable opinion. There are more Americans with a negative view of Biden, approximately 6 in 10. About 1 in 10 Americans say they don't know enough to have an opinion of Harris, whereas nearly everyone has an opinion on Biden. About three-quarters of Democrats have a positive view of Harris, which is in line with how Democrats view Biden. Seven in ten have a favorable view of him. Many young Democrats have a more favorable view of Harris than of the incumbent president because, the vice president appears more capable of handling the taxing nature of the job. In simple words, she is younger. Biden's age has been in the eye of the storm with recent public gaffes putting the spotlight on them. Democratic Party needs Harris and a running mate, who can really motivate people to go out to the polls. A task that many are now skeptical Biden can do as effectively. Harris' position as the administration's lead messenger on abortion also has endeared her to many Democrats. She has been a very strong advocate for abortion and her recent speeches on abortion rights have given her an opportunity to carve out an identity separate from the White House. Harris is more popular among black Americans than she is among white or Hispanic adults. She is more disliked by men than she is by women. Other prominent Democrats who have been floated as potential replacements are less known than Harris is. About 4 in 10 U.S. adults don't have an opinion of California Governor Gavin Newsom, and half are unfamiliar with Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Newsom is seen, overall, slightly more negatively than positively. Americans are divided about evenly on Whitmer. 24% have a favorable view and 22% have an unfavorable view. More Democrats see Harris rather than Newsom or Whitmer as someone who would make a good president, though that's partly because they're relative unknowns. About one-third of Democrats say Newsom would make a good president, and half don't know enough to say. About one-quarter of Democrats say Whitmer would do well, and about two-thirds don't know enough to say. Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio, is unknown to most Americans. In the AP Nork poll, which was conducted before Trump made Vance his vice presidential choice, 6 in 10 Americans don't know enough about him to form an opinion. About 2 in 10 U.S. adults have a favorable view of Vance, and about 2 in 10 view him negatively. Among Republicans, 61% don't know enough to have an opinion of Vance. About one quarter have a positive view of him, and roughly 1 in 10 have a negative view. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section and subscribe for more U.S. election news.